Hi, good day. Welcome to our math class. Today's topic is about joint variation. We are done already with direct and inverse variation. Now we're going to deal with joint variation. The equation for joint variation is y is equal to kxz. If we are going to compare joint variation to direct variation, in direct variation, we only have two variables. For example, we have y is equal to kx. So it only has two variables, y and x. While on joint variation, so we can use three or more variables. Like here in our example, we have y is equal to kxz. We have here one, two, and three variables. So that is the difference between joint and direct variation. Joint and direct variation also have similarity. In direct variation, it doesn't have any variable in the denominator. Same with joint variation, it doesn't have any variable in the denominator. So kahit madagdagan yung mga variable dyan, like what I've said a while ago, in joint variation, it can have three or more variables. So kahit madagdagan yung variable niyan, so dere-derecho lang yan dito. So hindi yan pwede magkaroon ng variable sa ilalim. Let's move on to the statement of joint variation. So if we're going to read this, y varies jointly as x and z. So we use the word jointly. So before, in direct variation, so we use the word directly. For inverse, we use the word inversely. So for joint, we use the word jointly. Another statement could be y is jointly proportional to x and z. Let's have an example of joint variation. So we're going to translate now from equation to statement and vice versa. We have here d is equal to k a squared b c raised to 4. This equation is an example of joint variation. If we're going to translate that in statement, we will have d varies jointly as a squared b and c raised to 4. So we use the word jointly and then we have here a squared b and c raised to 4. We can also express a squared in another statement. So other one is a raised to 2 or it could be a to the power of 2. Same with c raised to 4. So we can use another statement for that. We can have c to the 4th power. Those statements are also correct. Number 2. We have R is equal to K, M, and P raised to 3. This is also an example of joint variation. If we are going to translate that, it will go like this. R varies jointly as M, N, and P raised to 3. So again, we can use P cube. P cube instead of P raised to 3. We are done already translating from equation to statement. Now let's have from statement to equation. We have here the statement Z varies jointly as X and Y. If we are going to translate this into equation, it will be Z is equal to K X Y. Again, hindi porket merong X, Y, and Z, E eh, ganito na yung magiging equation. So, depende kung ano yung unang variable na nabanggit. So, kung ano yung unang variable na nabanggit, so yun yung magiging isolated variable or isolated part. So, dito yung unang nabanggit na variable ay z. So, yun yung magiging isolated na variable. So, z varies jointly as x and y. So, we're going to write that in equation as z is equal to kxy. So, pag ang nilagay mo ay y is equal to kxz, so mali po yan. So, this is the correct answer. Number two, we have 
W varies jointly as the cube of B, C raised to 5, and D squared. So again, joint variation din to. We use the word jointly. So lahat ng mga variable dyan ay magkakatabi. So mangyari lang dyan, we're going to be careful with the exponent that we're going to write. So nauna yung W. So let's write first W. So varies jointly as the cube of B. And don't forget the constant. So cube of B. So B raised to 3. So that is cube of B. C raised to 5. C raised to 5. And D squared. And D squared. So this is our equation. So W is equal to KB raised to 3. C raised to 5 and D squared. So this is an example of joint variation. So this is how we translate statement to equation and vice versa of joint variation. In this part, we are going to solve for the constant of joint variation. So unlike in direct and inverse, like for example in direct, we just simply divide the values of the variable to get the constant. And for inverse, we just simply multiply the values of the variable to get the constant. So in joint variation, it is not like that. The first step in looking for the constant of joint variation is to write the equation of the joint variation. So here we have P is jointly proportional to R and M. So this will be our statement. And we are going to translate that into equation. So the equation is P is equal to K R M. So this will be our equation. So the next step is to substitute the values of the given. So here we have P is equal to 12. So replace P with 12. And then since we are looking for the constant, so k remains k, and then r is equal to 8, and m is equal to 3. So after that, we are going to simplify the given. Rewrite 12, and then we still have here k, and then multiply 8 by 3. So, 8 times 3 is 24. And we are not yet done since k is not yet isolated. So, our goal here in finding the constant is to make k isolated or make k alone in one side. Since it's not yet alone in one side, we still have 24. So, we have to remove 24 to simplify the given. So to remove 24 here, so we have to divide it by 24 and then do the same thing on the other side. So divide it by 24. So now we can cancel 24 and K will be alone. So we have here still 12 over 24. So 12 over 24 is equal to K. So let's just switch that. K is equal to 12 over 24 but we are not yet done we can still simplify 12 over 24 so the lowest term of 12 over 24 is 1 over 2 so we can divide this by 12 over 12 so 12 divided by 12 is 1 and 24 divided by 12 is 2 so that's why we have one half. So the value of the constant here is one half. Number two. B varies jointly as the square of C and cube of D. And B is equal to 144 when C is equal to 3 and D is equal to 2. First step, we have to write the equation of the given. The statement here is B varies jointly as the square of C and cube of D. So we're going to translate that into equation. We have B 
is equal to k square of c is c raised to 2 and cube of d so d raised to 3 that will be our equation after that we're going to replace the value of the variable so b is equal to 144 and then rewrite k c is equal to 3 so 3 raised to 2 and then we have d is equal to 2 so 2 raised to 3 so after that we are going to simplify simplify first all the exponent 144 is equal to k so what is 3 squared so 3 times 3 is 9 and then 2 raised to 3 so we have 2 times 2 is 4 and then times 2 we have 8 then after that we still need to simplify 9 times 8 so 144 is equal to k and then 9 times 8 is 72 we are almost done with our solving so k is almost isolated so we just have to divide it by 72 so divide the other side also to or by 72 cancel k is already isolated so 144 over 72 is equal to k simplify 144 divided by 72 is 2 so we have 2 is equal to k or k is equal to 2 so the constant here for number 2 is 2 so that is how we get or we solve for the constant of joint variation so the first thing we have to do is to write the equation of joint variation number 2 is to replace the values and number 3 is to solve